Each loader scale will come with a hydraulic fitting kit. Uh, that will be dependent on what machine you have. But it's probably going to consist of something like a T or a flange fitting. An elbow to get to a 90 degree turn. A coupler. And then an adapter that will go on to your pressure transducer. So all this stuff will go together and then you'll wind up with something like that. trace back my hydraulic lift cylinder lines I found a good place to put my T's under here for the rod and cylinder connections so make sure that bucket supported either with the safety uh, bracket provided by the manufacturer or you can tilt the bucket down and if you have a big enough machine you can still work underneath of it with the bucket on the ground, relieve that pressure on the hydraulic system before you crack any hydraulic line to avoid getting sprayed. A potentially very dangerous situation. And uh, once you have your safety stuff done, go ahead and start installing your pressure transducers. Okay, I've traced my hydraulic lines down to a spot where I can install a T. Uh, I've installed the piston side one already and you can see this is where the rod one will go so I'll break this connection here and install the T. We don't ever want to put the pressure transducers right out at the actual cylinder because they'll be exposed to more potential danger and damage and also They'll be moving up and down all the time with the piston or with the cylinder as the bucket moves up and down. Here is a shot of the pressure transducers. I traced the lines from the one cylinder on this machine down to where it comes out of the valve here and installed T's. You can see this one's labeled piston, so that will go to the back end of the pressure of the lift cylinder, and the other one here marked rod that goes up to the rod end out here. Also, if you can try to install your sensors where the end of the sensor is kind of running uphill that will allow any air that might be trapped in the sensor to hopefully escape out and go back through the system and out into the tank.
power cable that's supplied with the scale is labeled red positive and your black will be your ground neutral um, we will typically go into the fuse panel and do an add a fuse and uh, then you have to find your own ground this system can handle 12 or 24 volts your other option would maybe be going into the cab and finding a power supply like at a light switch or maybe an ignition key area and uh, powering it up that way.